Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. This is my video of my best Thunder Plains dodge. So, um, you'll have to forgive me. I don't know exactly where this LP is at anymore. Um, I used to know, and uh, now I don't. So, uh, what I found helped me for dodging Thunderbolts was, and I, I only got, I think we got up to 160. Um, I, I could do 200. It's possible. It's clearly if you can do 160, you can do 200. What I found was um, helpful was to, because um, I can't help but count thunderbolts. So what I did was, uh, first off, I shut off all the lights, and I turned the volume way up, and I had to turn the monitor on my computer screen off so I couldn't see the light from that, the flashes from that. And uh, then um, it's impossible for me not to count, so I just counted in ways that would confuse me so I wouldn't get nervous in, and then just went as far as I could. So I counted like, I would count like, um, like one, 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 two, 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 and when I got to 20, I would just start over and just do random, you know, so just count like one, 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 until I lost track of how many ones I had said, and then like switch to two until I got to 20. And then start over and figured, like, I would just go until I got hit. And it's, um, the lightning is pretty rhythmic, but every once in a while it'll throw a pattern at you that'll cause your heart to really race. I mean, that maybe will happen in a set of, uh, in a set of 160, it happened to me maybe three times. So, it, and, and it'll, it, you know, it gets you, it gets you when you stop thinking about it. That's kind of the issue. I got better, um, you know, every every time. It doesn't take that long. I think you could dodge 200 in, um, I think you could dodge them in, you know, 20 minutes pretty easily. So, uh, one of the things, there are areas you can put yourself where you won't have to move yourself back in position over and over, but I actually found that to be comforting and kind of rhythmic, so. Yeah, I finished this LP. Like, I finished it, uh... I did all the video recording for it, except for now I realize I have to do one or two things. This is the 20th of December that I'm doing this commentary on. and uh, But I haven't done any work on, you know, putting together all the pieces of video that are mislabeled or, you know, hard, it's hard to figure out what my intentions were. Uh, because the interruption was like a month long. I mean, I stopped working on this LP completely uh, with the exception of I think I did one post commentary video maybe two and uh, since then uh, you know my father's health deteriorated and four days ago now he died so it's it's rough to try to put this stuff back together I mean not from the standpoint of it's like hard to do commentary or anything it's not it's like putting on an old pair of shoes or something. I'm, you know, I'm three years of, you know, three videos a day has made me pretty good at what I do. Like, uh, pretty good at not letting, you know, s stuff from outside get to me. And actually, to tell you the honest truth, like, my family and I are coping really well. Uh, but it does make it impossible, because this wasn't, I didn't even turn on my computer, like, through a lot of this stuff. Um, it, it didn't make any, you know, if what you need to do is be involved and aware of what's going on around you, doing post-commentary and live commentary gameplay is probably the worst thing you could possibly do. I mean, you've got to be concentrating on a screen, thinking about strategies and what you're doing, and you have a head pair of headsets on and are talking constantly. So there's no possibility you would, you would even hear if you were needed. So. so I didn't do any of that stuff. Um, luckily, the last seven videos, I believe, of the LP are set up as live commentary videos. So I just have to plug the audio into the, the video on those, and they'll be good. It's the it's filling into those that is the problem, because I have this Thunder Plains run, and I, ha I think I have Grinding in the Monster Arena is about it. What I can't find is what I did about Lulu and her ultimate weapon, because... What I ended up doing, uh, rather than finishing this off, rather than getting to 200, which, because I thought this was a pretty good demonstration that such a thing is possible, that uh, rather than do that, what I did was I crafted her an ultimate weapon that was similar. 
so it it just it doesn't have the name, but it has things like, you know, break damage limits and, you know, double AP. I didn't look up what the Onion Knight has and try to duplicate it exactly, although you could do that. It certainly is easier than this challenge. Um, although I would, considering how little time I put into the Thunder Plains, I probably did 20, 25 attempts at this. Considering that, and like within 25 attempts, I got to probably five that were over 100, and you know, into the decent like 120, 130 kind of space. I think this one ends at 160. So given that. Uh, I actually think that this challenge might be easier than the Chocobo Balloon Catching thing. So, in my opinion. But it wasn't really, at, at, like, at, at the point I'm at now, um, it's largely not worth going back to try to show this. Everything's done at this point. Uh, what I've realized that I have to do is I have to start a new game show the Albed dialogue that, at the beginning of the game that we never see. And uh, then I need to get the alternate scene in Besaid, which is going to be quite a bit of work. Now, all of those things aside, uh, it doesn't make sense for me to go back and, and make runs at this until I get it just to show it and then... Uh, just so I can release the last eight videos of the LP or nine videos of the LP or whatever it is. So we're just running through this. And uh, and this is boring. It's horribly boring to watch. So you'll just have to, you know, you'll you'll just have to listen to my, my voice, I guess. So aside from those things, uh, you know, this, this LP is in really good shape. I don't know necessarily what's going to replace it. It should probably be an RPG, but I don't know if it will be or not. Uh, I have several options. Uh, most of them are far older than this. So, um, it doesn't, like, it doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't make, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? I, like, I don't, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I haven't given it much thought. I have started... Uh, I, I do already, I have already finished the HDLP that's coming after Sam and Max. So, and I know what kind of regular platformer LP will be doing. <laughs> so the RPG is kind of the last piece of the puzzle. And I don't know. Uh, you know, there are some interesting, I have some interesting thoughts on the subject. There are several things that I have not done that I have that I probably should do, but maybe we'll do something very, you know, maybe we'll do something very easy, maybe we'll do something kind of, you know, low-key and just something that'll give us a lot of time to talk. I don't, I don't know. Or, you know, I, I you know what, I know, I know what I'm doing. I know what, I know what it is. Don't even worry about it. So, <laughs> those things aside, this goes on for, I think, like 14 minutes. I mean, it really is. Uh, and you just have to, once you get the hang of it, it really is. The problem is the repetition. The problem is doing this one thing over and over and not getting distracted. Which is far probably harder for people who are younger than me than it is for me. Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't want to talk crap about the generation below me, but they're geared for short attention span. And just being younger gears you for shorter attention span stuff. Like, but, you know, I grew up at an age where there was no internet and no cell phones. So, like, staring at a screen doing the exact same thing for 20 minutes, that's just Atari. Like, that's just, those are just the video games that, like, um, you know, the, I guess that my, to tell you, to be more than fair, those are the video games my brother grew up with. Uh, largely, the video game crash had happened when I was a young kid. And nobody was really thinking about it till the Nintendo Entertainment System came along. Which, it, of course, is the, you know, it's that's the landmark of modern gaming. Uh, and I say that because it was so drastically different than Atari. And um, there hasn't been a significant crash since then. So, you know, maybe someday there'll be another another video game crash and then some revolutionary technology. But at this point... You know, it's probably just going to be a smooth transition into to mobile gaming and things like that. And 
with, you know, council support and internet connectivity and... You know, maybe maybe someday all console gaming will be vintage gaming. I don't I don't know. So yeah, still going. Same thing. Me in the dark, all alone. It's actually helped me kind of take my mind off of because these runs at the Thunder Plains, there were some earlier runs that were not as successful. Uh, these runs were done um, while my dad was sick, so. Uh, in the early stages. So, like, he would be visiting with people and up, and I knew people were watching him and stuff, and I would just go do this for, you know, half an hour to take my mind off of it. It's kind of fun looking at the... the... the audio peaks for... This video file where it's just nothing, nothing, lightning strike, nothing, nothing, lightning strike, nothing like endlessly. I mean, endlessly just goes on and on and on. And this has always been my preferred place to do this. I didn't actually think that I would put up a marathon video of this, but this is not so bad. Now, there are other uh, prizes. I think there's a prize for dodging 15 lightning bolts. There's, like, prizes for being struck 30 times, and they're uh, just, you know, dodging 30 times non consecutively and things like that. Uh, for 100 times, it's 3 HP spheres. I don't remember what it is for 150 times, but we'll see it in this video. And then for 200 times, it's the uh, other, it's the uh, sigil for Lulu's ultimate weapon. Which we never get. It'll be though. It's the one an unanswered question in this LP. Uh, I can see we're nearing the end. I mean, it's yeah, it's gonna be 14 minute video, so. It's a shame when you see it happen, especially after. You know, 13 minutes. And you don't know. I mean, you've completely lost count at this point if you're... Because I couldn't do it counting up to... I thought about doing series of 20s and then just going like, you know, 20. And then through the next count be like 120, 121, 122, you know. Or like, or 1-1. One, one, like 1-2 one, up to 20 again. And then being like 2-1, two, 2-2. One, two, two, until I got to 10. Because once you get to like, you know, 10-20. Maybe that would be 2-20. I don't know. I would have still ran as long as I could. Like. Next one gets us. There we go. <laughs> I could tell by the audio peaks. So, uh, let's go claim our prize and see how we've done. Like I said, I believe my, my highest streak was 160. And this is my highest streak run. So, four Mega Elixirs. And, uh, so, when we come back, uh, grinding for spheres and experience with the arena. That will be the thing that we do. So, I will see you guys for... And then we'll be back into live commentary. So, I'll see you guys for that. And, uh, you take care. Wait a minute, we'll see here what my... 160. Uh, so you guys take care, and bye everybody.